Hey everybody, the faith I live by May 17th, our Lord's example, Romans 6, 4. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. Jesus did not receive baptism as a confession of guilt on his own account. He identified himself with sinners, taking the steps that we are to take and doing the work that we must do. His life of suffering and patient endurance after his baptism was also an example to us. Christ, as the head of humanity, was to take the same steps that we are required to take. Although sinless, he was our example in fulfilling all the requirements for the redemption of the sinful race. He bore the sins of the whole world. His baptism was to embrace the whole sinful world who by repentance and faith would be pardoned. After that, the kindness and love of God, our Savior toward man, appeared, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us. By the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost, which he shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ, our Savior, that being justified by his grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. This is a faithful saying, and these things I will that thou affirm constantly that they which have believed in God might be careful to maintain good works. These things are good and profitable unto men. Titus 3, 4 to 8. Man was brought again into favor with God by the washing of regeneration. The washing was the burial with Christ in the water. We're talking about baptism. In the likeness of his death, not sprinkling, right? Not the email baptism, baptism through immersion. The washing was the burial with Christ in the water in the likeness of his death, representing that all who repent of the transgression of the law of God receive purification, cleansing through the work of the Holy Spirit. Baptism represents true conversion by the renewing of the Holy Spirit. Those who have been buried with Christ in baptism and been raised in the likeness of his resurrection have pledged themselves to live in newness of life. If you then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above, not on things of the earth. Hope you have a great day today. Live in faith.